What's cracking? What's cracking, everybody? It's the people's champ in the building. So look, <clears throat> uh, before I get into this video, first off, I want to thank everybody that's been rocking with me, hitting the likes. I'm noticing that the likes are going up. It's because you guys really, really rocking with me. And then the ones that's not rocking with me, I'm noticing that they're watching all my videos because they're going in the comments crying. And I'm going to issue an apology because, you know, I did get out of character, you know, talking about certain individuals that is having a hard time finding their self and everything. And I said some things that I truly mean, and it might have hurt it or offended a lot of peoples out there. And I'm sure it hurted a lot of peoples out there because the three to four people that jumps in my comments that expresses how much of a hater I am and all it is, I see how it ruffle their feathers. And I greatly apologize to you guys because I don't mean to be so honest and open and keep it all the way real. It's just in me, you know, I don't have a fake bone in my body. So I apologize to you guys for getting offended because y'all are allergic to someone that's um, transparent. You see what I'm saying? And I truly don't want to offend any one of you guys. Like I said, I don't come off like no tough guy. I don't try to be like, I'm not a bully. I'm a bully basher. You know, people talking about, oh, you're trying to bully him. And they say, no, I'm not. If you go watch his videos, that's what he's doing. I don't do those type of things. I don't have no videos where I'm out in a gym, disrespecting any workers, whether I'm at a fast food place, ordering me something to eat, my kids something to eat or whoever, and disrespecting people. I don't do that because I know how hard it is for an individual in the world all over the country to actually get up and convince themselves and get themselves a pep talk to actually go out there and earn an honest living. I know how that feel. So I'm not fit to step on the everyday people's neck and disrespect them, tell them I'm their boss only because I'm eating in this establishment. They wouldn't have a job if I wasn't there buying their food. I wouldn't have food in that case if they wasn't there to prepare it. So it's like, I, I don't do those type of things. And this person do a lot of stuff like that. So I'm on his head. But to those of you that's offended by it, I apologize to you guys because this have nothing to do with y'all. You know what I'm saying? This have nothing to do with y'all feeling some type of way because y'all should be just as upset as me when you see these videos of him pulling knives out on people's. You see what I'm saying? And on people, on, 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 on well, on a man that's actually apologizing and asking him do he know such and such and he calling him boy and all of this, you better go on and and then when the tables get ready to turn, I'm glad that guy had enough self-restraint because he would have ran through him like hot water. But that's that bullying stuff. He thinks just because he running around with Big Boy, that Big Boy gonna have his back. Big Boy ain't gonna do nothing. I can guarantee you. He's too stuck on that soft side stuff. He ain't finna help no goddamn Mayate. Come on now, let's keep it one down though. Let's keep it one hundo. So to his supporters that keep clicking on my videos, trust me. This ain't got nothing to do with y'all. This is not nothing to do with y'all. I'm on here to expose those that's causing things that will harm people. When it, because if it's for self, you don't call it a challenge. You just say, this is what you're doing for yourself, for your own help. You don't say, oh, I'm about to do something that you know is potentially, if you do too much of it, it could cause all type of health risks. And especially with the heart, you see what I'm saying? So for y'all to be getting so uptight with someone that's transparent, I don't know what else to tell y'all besides I apologize that y'all so sensitive, that y'all are allergic to transparency because y'all been over there bamboozled with the smoke and mirrors for so long to where that y'all are just sitting here like, don't know how to take it. But trust me, there's nobody more genuine on this 
this whole arena of fitness, YouTube, real life YouTube than Mac Truck. No one. People say, Mac, you fall out with everyone. No. When I get wind of how a person is, I step back. Y'all seen me get into it with Jim Gang. Y'all seen me get into it with Rich Piano. That's what y'all seen. And with Jim Gang, why you think them boys ain't talking no more? Why you think them boys dismount what they think? Why you think they ain't nowhere on the West Coast? And even when I go on the East Coast, when I have pop-ups, why you think they don't show their face there? Because they found out Mack Truck is exactly who he is by trying to reach out to people in the streets and ask about me. I'm really who I am. And I don't walk around like I'm just this tough crimp and all this. Because why? When they made one gun, they didn't make just, when they made my gun, they didn't just make one. Trust me, it's a tough nigga like me in every goddamn city. Every state. It's somebody just like me or better. You see what I'm saying? And I know that. Somebody like, oh, well, if you think that way, you're going to end up in jail. I'm 44 years old. You see what I'm saying? And I'm who I am. And I rep my left side. And I rep me being a man. You see what I'm saying? I ain't go there yet. So what make y'all think I'm just that dumb and that naive to just trick myself off my, my, my freedom? I know how to be patient. I know how to get my man every time. And nobody be knowing what's going on. Why? Because I'm a quiet, solo, fun type of guy once you get to know me. You see what I'm saying? So we going to have to do better, guys, because y'all are following individuals off of their height and not really looking at their characters is changing so much. My truck been the very same since this channel started in 2011. Been the very same. My supporters has been the very same, growing slow, but strong. You see what I'm saying? We got concrete. We ain't building on sand. You see what I'm saying? We got concrete rebar. You see what I'm saying? Now we putting the wood on there. We building the frame now. Next thing you know, we be at 100,000. We putting the frame there. You see what I'm saying? Because it's easy to get more subscribers. How would I do that? All I had to do is just go find one of these fools, punch them in their mouth. They ain't going to do much of nothing. Punch them, square it off in their mouth. Bust they shit wide open. Oh, Mac back viral. But what that's going to do for me? It's going to take me from being a bully basher to the bully. And it's going to take me from being, being blackballed to being back accepted to becoming a headliner of the LA Fit Expo where they once banned me. You see what I'm saying? It's going to take me from being a headliner to being back what? That guy that's just doing dumb shit, acting his color, acting his shoe size, ignorant. See what I'm saying? Y'all got to be smart. You see what I'm saying? But before I go any further, first off, I like to give a personal shout out to my big brother, Dexter Jackson, because Dexter Jackson went out of his way to send me my EAAs, my BCAAs, and um, he made a mistake and put pre-workout in there. He hit me early this morning and said, damn. I said, big bro, I got the package. I got the pre-workout in there too. I say, but with yours, you only got 200 milligrams of caffeine. So I say, for those that's trying to wing themselves off of so much pre-workouts, I said, I think your product would be the best because uh, he say, yeah, don't do no full scoop. <laughs> I say, so pretty much do a half a scoop, make it 100 um, uh, milligrams of, uh, with the caffeine. And he said, yeah, that'd be perfect. And he was like, man, man, I apologize, little bro. He said, because I know you don't do pre-workouts. I apologize for even sending that. I said, no, it was an honest mistake, but it's good because I made a video about pre-workout. And I think those that's trying to, when they self offload, I think your product will help them. He's like, you think so? I said, come on, man. You're 50 something years old, still look good, and you take your own products. You've been taking, you've been playing around with these type of ingredients when you were sponsored by other companies and you couldn't speak on it. He said, man, are you sure? I said, come on, big bro. I'm telling you, it will fucking work. Your products work. So uh, let's see. Let me drop this down. So. My EAAs, the Dexter Jackson Signature Series. Now, this is Kiwi Strawberry. 
and it has everything in here that your BCAAs, your EAAs have in it. Now his products is still overseas, but if I'm not mistaken, I think they released the pre-workout and the BCAAs into the States right now. And he's getting a couple more uh, clearance to where they get the stuff over there. And then he has the Energizer pre-workout, Juicy Pineapple. <sighs> Damn, that sounds good. Juicy Pineapple. So this is the Dexter Jackson Signature Series. So let me see. So level one is 60 servings in this. And the beta alamine. Creatine. Oh, damn, we got creatine. Monohydrate up in here. A thousand milligrams of creatine up in here. Wow. El Algeline. Caffeine. Okay, there you go. The caffeine is at 200 milligrams. So I think those of you, let me pull this up. I think those of you who are trying to wing yourself off of this, I think this would be a great product for you guys because it has so many good essentials up in here to help you to where you won't be having, um, what is that, um, withdrawals and stuff like that because that is a true thing. Now, y'all know how I am. I don't care for pre-workouts at all, but what I am going to do is tomorrow, back day training, I'm going to take a half a scoop of that with a shit ton of water just so I can see because, you know, I don't promote nothing or tell y'all about nothing if I haven't tried it. And um, I can't, but I know one thing, this strawberry kiwi BCAAs, I'm for sure going to be on these, the blade. Man, so he has a full fucking line of everything um, overseas and everything that's been doing really well. So I'm um, happy for him on that. You know, I just told him, though, I say, Dex, you have to start showing us supporters life at the bodybuilding. We don't want to see you in a gym that much. We want to see you grocery shopping. We want to see you in your vehicle. We want to see you out with little clips of you and the grandkids or whatever. We want to see you because we know you as a great bodybuilder. He was like, man, I ain't got time for all that, look, bro. I said, man, listen, trust me. Stop trying to always make all your videos movie-like and just get in front of the camera and give us you. We love you. We want to support you more and more. We want to be a part of how was it that you was able to be a top Mr. Olympia for so many years and won more shows than everyone ever did in IFBB and retire at a height at a height in your career while all these young bulls is coming up and, and retire with good health. You see what I'm saying? We want to know what it was you did. He was like, you think so? Would they like that? I said, listen, I know already. And if I am drawn to it, trust me, my supporters will love it. You have way more supporters than me. They will love that shit. We don't want to keep seeing chest videos, arm videos, back videos. Just do a workout video twice a month and give us real life Dexter Jackson. He was like, all right. I said, dude, I'm going to fly down to Jacksonville and we're going to put a couple day in the life videos together for you. I help your camera grind, direct this stuff. Cause y'all know when I do high quality videos, my videos is on point. You see what I'm saying? So then I asked him to just start putting reels up, the shorts and stuff on his YouTube because we want to know what's going on. We want to be a part of his journey still because now that he's not on stage, we feel like we ain't a part of his journey any anymore. So that's what I was trying to get by, get by him into his head so he can pretty much understand where I was coming from with that. And um, I think he really is ready to do that now because now it's time for him to become this this mega star and brand because he has so much that he can offer us that's still trying to push the narrative that you can only bodybuild for so long or it's bad for your health and all of this. When we have him pioneering a way that's actually 
uh, um, a walking testament of it. You see what I'm saying? And I know some of you guys are like, yeah, but everybody ain't the same. Exactly. But those, those that listen, you could potentially give yourself longevity with that. You see what I'm saying? So that's the point I'm trying to get by to him. So that's enough for that. So I'm going to... Uh, Tag his name in the description so y'all can go click on his stuff, go to his videos, leave comments, tell him that y'all need the, the beat CAAs, the EAAs, and the, um, the pre-workouts, um, how y'all can get them and all that. Tell him, go flood his shit because you know, we only want the best, you know, because between him and Jay Cutler's line, with the um, amount of time they put into their stuff because Dexter been putting his together for about three years with the amount of time they've been and, and Jay around was around about the same time too so with the amount of time that they put in there and the quality they have in it and the amount of funds they have behind that stuff you can't go wrong with taking a products I mean, y'all know I live off of Cutler Nutrition line and now I got my other big brother's line too come on now man come on now man come on now man but back to you good peoples those of you that's been rocking with me all this time, I greatly appreciate each and every last one of you guys. I have so much love for y'all, even though I haven't personally met a, a tenth of you guys. But the ones that I do meet at the expos and the grocery stores, the gas stations, just me walking up the street, going to my car, y'all recognize me, wave, flag, back truck, all gas, no brakes. Greatly appreciate each and every last one of you guys. Because a lot of y'all see that I'm really out there in the field. Y'all can see me out there being a regular, normal person. And, and, and somebody said, well, how, would you still make videos like this if you had a million? Okay. I got 70,000. I've been making these same type of videos when I had 100 subscribers. I'm who I am, so I don't ever have to portray nothing or switch up for nobody. You know, I'm just trying to bring awareness to those who've been believing the smoke and mirrors. And if those weak-minded think that is hate, hey, shame on you. And those that know I'm looking out for um, y'all best interest because I was bamboozled by these individuals, thank you for taking the taking heed to what it is I'm doing. Because guess what? It is what it is. People shout, give it a T gun barrel straight. Those of you that like the video, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notifications, and I'm going to continue rocking with y'all the same way y'all rocking with me. Until next time, I'll smell y'all later. Kick, kick, kick.